everyone welcome back this is Susie and if you're new to the channel welcome to Dragonfly Bee's resale journey this is part two of the shop goodwill purse lot and also that uh goodwill blue box mystery purse lot so let's just jump right in and see what else I have this here is Lady Liberty look at her and a um overview of uh, Manhattan lots of skyscrapers this is uh by dkny it looks to be like a i guess a cosmetic case perhaps silver top zipper let's make sure that works good yeah works fine let's take a a good look at this this is the back side there are yeah, there's a couple marks right there. Overall, I don't see any wear on the corners. This here. Okay, that snap is for that end of the zipper. This is looks to be in, in good condition. So let's take a look at the inside. The inside has a few marks. And it's, um, there's no pockets or anything, but there's the label. So yeah, we have this. So let me measure this uh, for you. And it is approximately 10 and three quarters inches long and about five inches high. And the sides look to be about an oh, inch and a half yeah a little inch and three quarters so we have this dk and y <sighs> lady liberty new york city case next up we have this one this is a nice uh, large shoulder bag and this is a uh, I hear something. What's that coming from? Here it is. This is by Fossil. So let's take a look at this. This is a nice vinyl, textured vinyl with this beautiful floral design. This is the bottom. It looks to be really clean. The front it's kind of cinched on the bottom. It has this uh, shape where it's rounded on the bottom half. And uh, let's look at this closer. I must say, this looks uh, this looks pretty good so far. This top portion is like a canvas. The stitching looks good. Yes, it does. Now, let's look at the sides. This is the side. That looks really good, too. Let's look at the opposite side. Yeah, that looks great as well. So let's turn it over. I think this was the side I just saw. Yeah, it is. <laughs> let's turn it over to the back side. All right. I see a little mark right there. Overall, so far, so good. Yeah, this looks really, really nice. The handles are this canvas um, strap. They're tied in little knots and threaded through the hole. And this is leather. And uh, let's take a look at these handles. Really good. Not even a stain. And then there's this leather uh, hang tag with this beautiful, <laughs> look at this, it's like an amber colored key that says fossil right there. So let's take a look at the, it. well, you know what? Let me measure this. Yeah, I should. This here, the 
the handle has about an eight inch drop and let's measure this purse i'm going to turn it around again so we could see that bottom half you see how okay so i'll measure it this way and the width of this is about 13 inches this measures three and a half and the height of this bag I would say is approximately 14 inches so let's take a look at how the inside looks there is a magnetic closure and it's hidden. Let's get this out of the way. Wow, this is clean. There's a very large pocket that has two slip pockets within it. Pop that back in. And on the opposite side, there's a zippered compartment, which also comes out like that. You can see inside the white canvas is it's really clean. Nice zipper with the leather, the zipper tag on it. There is the logo. The pocket looks nice and pristine. This is in great condition. Let me open it up and bring you inside. Really great. Very happy about this. So we have this fossil shoulder bag. Now, besides the shoulder bag, in this lot, I found a matching wallet. This is also looks to, this looks to be in brand new condition. It's the same uh, pattern. It has a braided, um, little tag in leather so it zips all around and so let's open this still has the card that's in the card slot here are some card card slots there is also a pocket in here these are more card slots oh it even still has the paper wrapped around that so i would say this is brand new this one here is another compartment. I guess you can put your change in there. It is a fossil vintage. Here is another pocket with more card slots. I mean, this is really, really very nice. So this wallet um, measures about seven and a half inches across about four inches high and i would say this is brand new and the purse the shoulder bag seems to be i would say pretty new so yeah we have i i would price this as a set and i will price them individually it all depends on if someone would like them as a set or individually so yeah, I'm ha I'm happy with this one. We have this fossil shoulder bag and wallet, matching wallet. Okay, next one. Next one I found is another fossil bag. And this one is in a paisley corduroy fabric with some cotton like web cords. And then you have this canvas bottom. 
as well as uh, this design on the side. Yeah, oh, well, that's just dust. I like the silver tone hardware on either side. And look at the leather, it's pristine. It has a very nice adjustable shoulder strap, which is in great condition. It even has this really clean leather zipper tag. Wow, okay, let me, um, as is this strap has a drop of about 12 inches, but you can adjust it accordingly because of this buckle right here. Now, taking a look at this, let's take the measurements first. I would say the width on this is about a little um, uh, eight and a quarter. And the diameter is about four inches. The height of this uh, purse is about a little over seven and a half. Let's look at what this is all about. Okay. So, you have these two pockets in the front. And they have these mag these stamps. Okay. So, let's take a look inside. Oh, you got that paisley design. It looks to be in great condition. They snap very nice. Nice Let's look at the back. This is in really nice condition. It is so soft. Uh, here you have these outside slip pockets and then they're separate. There is a, a, a sewn seam in the center that divides them. So there, there are these two outside pockets. There's the tag that needs to be trimmed a bit. Fossil, authentic, classic. Now, let's take a look at the inside. Really nice heavy duty zipper. There's the inside. It looks great. Two slip pockets on one side. Okay, there's a, a little dot right there, like a stain on the pocket of on the right side. Let's look at the opposite side. This looks good. There is a zippered pocket. Oh, there's another stain right there. Overall, I mean, it's not bad. Um, there is a zippered pocket on this side. Let me open that up. A little piece of fuzz in there. This looks, here's another piece. <laughs> okay. Overall, I think this is um, in very good condition. So we have this, isn't it sweet? Fossil, paisley corduroy, shoulder bag, there you go. Okay, got another fossil. This is a crossbody, uh, found one, and this has that plastic um, vinyl material this has like a tulip uh design with a navy blue back and um let's take a look at the plastic portion this looks okay from what i see so far and yeah the opposite side looks good too the corners 
Okay, there's a little wear right there. <clears throat> but I noticed. See this? That canvas portion of it? There's some discoloration here. Like these flowers are not as vivid as they should be, you think? So I think this portion needs a, a good OxyClean, you know? Uh, you have these little holes where these huge, heavy, silver tone hoops go through. I see the same dis, um, discoloration on this side. Let's look at the strap. This is a really nice, heavy duty canvas, like a mesh web belt type of strap where you can adjust it. But as is, let's see, let me measure this one. As is, I mean, right now it's, it, the drop is really long. Um, it's about, oh, approximately 18 inches, but it can be adjusted to be shorter or even longer. Now, it has a top zipper closure with this very long leather strap on it. Okay, the, the leather rings on either side look good. There's the inside. This one also has those flaps. This flap has two slip pockets. And this flap, okay, this way you can see the inside. Let me, let me take the flaps out. Um, the inside, I could see some, a couple pen marks. You see how vivid this, this uh, pattern is? I think this is what the outside should look like. Now, let me turn it around so we could look at this side where the zippered pocket was. There's the logo. This zipper pocket also has a very long leather strap. Let me zip that up. That works great. I saw a sticker on it and it just came off my... Tested working. SGW, that's a Shop Goodwill. Yeah. Okay, so they tested this to see if the zippers worked, I guess. Well, I guess that's their quality control. The only thing is um, this portion here. It really needs a good clean. Other than that, I think this is an adorable uh, little crossbody or shoulder bag that you could just take along with you uh, on your shopping sprees or your thrifting um, hauls. So we have this one. The next bag I wanted to show you is this tote bag. It's genuine leather and it's like this blue gray uh, color. It has silver tone metal feet on the bottom. And just look at this. This design is so unique. The handles are in great condition. Here is the side. Really nice, supple leather. Here's the other side. The corners, they look good. Turn, turning it around. Here you see this corner is great, as well as this. The edge coat is wonderful. I mean, this bag is so really, it's simple, but it's made very well. Now, you may not have heard of this. It's by Leah Numa. Let me show you the inside. I like that there is a zipper closure. Here is the heavy duty silver tone zipper with the very long leather tassel hanging off of it. I'm going to unzip it for you and show you that. Okay, that zipper, it, it, 
it goes right through to this side. But look at this inside. It's beautiful suede. The pocket, slip pocket, it's all suede inside and it's so clean. And there is a zippered pocket pouch with the name Leah Numa. Um, and this is an Italian brand. Made in Italy, genuine leather. Just gorgeous. Now, let me uh, measure this. This purse is about almost 14 and a half inches wide. And the diameter is almost five inches. The height of this, oh, average, um, I'm gonna say it's about 11 inches. And the drop of that handle to the purse is six and a half inches. So we have this beautiful The Enuma, uh, I would say it's a tote bag. The Enuma bags, they do have a website. It's in Italian. <laughs> and uh, there are some comparables online where they can go from, I think, $80 to a few hundred dollars. The leather is impeccable. It is handcrafted, so nicely made. And this one is in such amazing condition. So I'm happy that this came in the, the Shop Goodwill lot. Okay, next up we have this. Oh, this is a gorgeous tan, like a chestnut color, pebbled uh, leather tote bag. It was on the bottom of the box, so it's kind of, it kind of got squished, so I'm trying to reshape it. There are some flaws, unfortunately, but after I show you, maybe they, you can overlook some. Uh, this one measures almost 13 inches across, and I would say the diameter is about five inches. Let me show you um, the flaws. <laughs> you see that corner? Yeah, that's missing some leather right there. This corner, the same. Turn it to opposite side. Over here too. But you know that edge coat is dark and it, I was wondering if that was the edge coat, but you know what? I don't know. I think it's just um, missing. And the same goes for this side too. So that's the bottom. Um, the bottom looks good. Those are the corners I meant to say. Here you see the Calvin Klein logo. Here is the front of the bag. It says Calvin Klein on those little gold buttons here. Let me turn it over to the other side. That's what it looks like on this side. This does have a, it's, it's large. It can hold a lot. Now the sides, the stitching looks good. You see? I don't know why that is so. Now let's look at the handles. There's gold tone, like these buckles. There's two straps. Really nice. 
here I see some edge coat loss right there in the center. There is some cracking. This does need some conditioning. And there's some frayed threads. The same goes for the opposite side on this strap. Now the other strap, I mean, these straps, the bottoms look really nice, the bottom of the straps. But when you reach the top, this one here also has some of that edge coat missing, not a lot. And the same goes for this side. Now you see how, how it's cracking? This really needs to be conditioned. All right. And then you have these gold tone links and uh, Yeah, there's some scratching on them. Wow, what was that? <laughs> well, that just came off, which is good. I thought it was like, I don't know, like a white material. Okay, so the, this, this is what the straps look like. Now, let's take a look at the inside. It does have a magnetic closure. The edge coat on the top looks to be really nice. So let's open it up. Look at the inside. You have that signature CK all throughout. It is just one big open bucket. I see some glitter down there. Uh, there is a, a hook for your keys. And let me show you what else it came with. Um, I took it out to clean. You have this. It can be placed this way or the other way. And that goes on the very bottom. Here, let me put it this way so you can see the contrast. Uh, so it holds down the bottom panel. Like so. See that? And this is, uh, can go that way as well. And in addition to that one piece, this came with it too. In fact, this was attached to that key fob inside. This is a little wristlet same pattern same color it has this really nice long tassel attached to the zipper which can be taken off there is some copper coming out of that clip as you can see there's calvin klein lots of scratches on this uh keychain i guess you would call it but it was actually placed there. This here looks to be in nice condition. Edge coating is all there. You have this connected to it. So this was connected to that fob that was inside the bag. There is these marks on the back of this. They look like pen marks. And then you see a, a couple of... Um, scuff marks so let's open this and there is also that signature interior and this looks in this looks to be in nice condition so we have this purse with the flaws and um, this comes with it so let me measure the height of it. That was one thing I did not tell you. Um, it's funny. Okay, I found it. So standing this up straight and measuring the height of the tote. It's about 12 inches. So this is a really awesome I mean, this leather is nice. I love the color. 
there are some flaws it is it is used obviously but it's still overall a really nice um find to have in this shop goodwill purse haul okay the next bag um hmm i don't know i think this would be a pass i think uh this is something i'll just donate there's a lot of wear on that portion i mean this is uh inexpensive it is vinyl in a i don't know crocodile print the handles are okay inside it is um oh okay there's two compartments one is an empty one and the other one has some slots with a space to put some pens another zippered pocket on this side now the brand is jackson which i've never heard of and there is a outside pocket as well and there's a little um, mark over there here's the bottom i mean it's cute i'm just gonna say that it's a cute little bag which is about 10 and a half inches wide. Oh, eight inches high. And um, about three inches in diameter. So yeah, I mean, this one, yeah. <laughs> it's sweet. So we have that. Next one is this woven bag. Uh, this is this is vinyl. There is some threads that are frayed on the handle, as you can see. Yeah, on both handles, there's a a few marks and stains, pen marks. This here has a nice vinyl bottom. Um, hmm. Okay. I do see some stains here in the front, as well as the back. And the sides do have some, um, yeah, it's dirty over here. And, uh, okay, so let's open this up and see well, let me measure it first. It's a nice spring summery bag. It's about 11 inches wide and seven and a half inches high. The drop on this one is, oh, 12 and a half inches. And let's see, there is a snap magnetic snap closure. And there's the inside. There's slip pockets on one side. Oh, oh, there's three compartments, in fact. There's a middle compartment with the zipper. And where's the... Let me, uh, let me find that zipper. Where'd it go? Oh, here it is. Okay, it zippers nicely. But who makes this? Wow, I'm surprised. This is a fossil. 1994. Genuine fossil product. Well, this is a, one of their bags that is, is not leather. So we have we have this. It's it looks clean in there. Yeah, it's just the outside that needs a uh, that needs to be some um, marks cleaned up. So, okay. We have this bag. Okay, next up we have this really large. It's brand new with tag. It's a Liz Claiborne. It is 
from their luggage department. This is definitely a travel bag. It's uh, part of this Marina collection. And this one here is the last one listed. Fully lined interior with signature pattern. Okay, so it's this tote right here. This is nice. It is a black canvas. There you see Liz Claiborne. A metal plate. There's a nice light blue piping. This is big. This is like 17 inches wide. And it does have these feet. The handles are great. They, they, they have this padding. Well, this extra material. It's really a, a nice, sturdy travel bag. Beautiful blue. Yeah, it, it's kind of like padded inside. There's this outside pocket with this Velcro enclosure. Lots of dust. It does have a, a zippered closure. It says Liz Claiborne right there. And then you open it up and there is the interior. Yeah, this is new. This is brand new. I don't know what that is. But here is an interior zipper pocket. Yeah, it has that nylon material inside, which is easy to wipe. Okay. I have to get a better system to show big bags. <laughs> the back is plain. There's just some threads that need to be trimmed, but it doesn't look like it's been used at all. Here is, um, oh, the end of the button that, the end of the uh, zipper that snapped on. Okay. Let me turn it around again and measure the height. So I did say it's 17 inches wide and the height of this measures approximately 14 inches and then you have the handle drop which is about 9 inches almost approximately. So yeah we have this Liz Claiborne travel bag and uh, it has that zipper top closure so that's good and I guess this is something that you can like uh, loop over your luggage um, handles so I believe that's it for this 15 piece shop goodwill purse lot I was really uh, pretty happy with it so let's move on to the goodwill blue box Okay, here's the Goodwill blue box. I saw that they had a purse, mystery purse um, rescue box, and you're supposed to just get one item. This one came from Lake Worth, Florida. I'm gonna cut it open and uh, put the box down and see whether or not we got more than one. I discovered this one from watching a video of uh, Kristen Dees, and she, sorry, um, she got a, oops, oops, sorry, pardon, uh, she got more than one item, so I'm just, uh, curious. It's my first time buying one. And uh, I said, why not give it a, a go? <clears throat> All right. I'm going to put the box down and then uh, open it up.
this box costs, it says one purse, $19.99, $5 shipping. So it came out to $24.99. And I see two items. So let's grab the first one. Oh. Get all this uh, air pillows away. And see what we have. This looks um, this looks nice. Let me bring you in. I like this one. Let's see who it is by. Okay, this is by Tommy Hilfinger. I see the T's, I see the H's. This is a very nice purse. Let's take a look at the in I'm so <laughs> let's take a look at the inside first. It does look very clean. There is a, a slip pocket on one side, there is a center compartment. Very nice. The zipper is good, and here is the other side. There you see his logo. There's a little dust in there. More little dust particles. But yeah, this looks um this looks pretty nice. Oops. This is a uh, this feels like faux leather. The corners look extremely good. The stitching let me measure this. Okay, this one is about 12 inches wide. The diameter is about three inches. And um, the height of this purse is about, oh, eight and a half. It has this very nice uh, pattern with his initials, I guess. And then you have this really nice gold tone hardware that's chain links. And these straps look impeccable. Okay. Not bad. Okay, let's look at the measurement of the handle drop. And that's, I would say, about almost eight inches to the to the purse. So, okay. I guess this would be the front. There's his logo plate. So we have this. Very nice. So the second item in this blue box is this handbag. It is by Style and Company. Style and Company. I, I think I've heard of this. The T-Lock Shopper. Um, the price tag was taken off. Um, I believe this is a faux leather also. So this one measures across about 12 inches. The diameter is close to four inches. I love the color of this faux leather. I'm pretty sure it's faux leather. Uh, there's the front. It has these brass studs on either side. I, there's um, a brass plate here. And this is a, that's fake. It's actually a magnetic snap. So that's how it would open. Let's look at the handles. The handles look great. The edge coating is all good. Um, well, this is a new with tag, but then even though it's new, you still got to check for flaws. So, all right, let's look at the other side. The other side is nice. Um, you have this zippered pocket. 
very clean. You have this contrasting stitching. And let's look at the inside. It's a fabric interior. There's some um, threads that need to be cleaned out. Um, there is the logo, Style and Company. I don't know. I'm thinking this is Kohl's. I, I think. Uh, there is a interior zippered pocket on one side. There is a center compartment with a zippered pocket. And then on the other side, there's two slip pockets. So this is a, this is a nice handbag by Style and Company. Now, um, Goodwill Blue Box, like I said, it cost $25, so each purse would be about $12.50. Uh, if I were to thrift these bags, I, I don't think I would pay that much for each one, but at least they are, um, at least this is new and tag, with tag, and the other one is in great condition. So yeah, uh, I guess I would absolutely uh, purchase this type of box from Goodwill Blue Box again. So we have this. Okay, everyone, that's a wrap for this part two of the purse lots that I purchased from shopgoodwill.com and Goodwill Blue Box. I hope you enjoyed this video and the content that I provide. If so, give me that thumbs up, please. Subscribe if you haven't already. That way you get in on these subscriber discounted rates. And if there's anything you'd like to purchase, just email me at dragonflybees at gmail.com. The instructions are in the beginning of my video. After my introduction, I also place them in the description box below. So check that out too. Um, let me make mention that the prices that you see on the screen do not include shipping. I go by whatever USPS uh, rates are. Uh, depending on your location and the weight of the item. And I use uh, Pirate Ship. So if anything does sell, I will create a sold list and pin that in the comment section. That means it's, it'll be the first comment that you see. Don't forget, ring the bell, ring the bell and choose all notifications. That way you'll be alerted when I post my next new content video or maybe alive and uh comment tell me what you thought of um these purchases from shop goodwill and goodwill blue box thanks everyone for tuning in thanks everyone for spending this time with me and i'll see you in the next one bye